Yes, good morning, snappers from me and a sleepy bitch named Maggie. I am snug as a bug in this bed. You want to know how I feel like a boss? Because I am laying here in bed and my car is outside getting washed. You guys always remember my little mobile detailer came through in the clutch. Elijah's outside getting my truck right. Once my truck is right, I got to go take my car to the mechanic. But anyways, guys, I'm up. We're in Jacksonville. It's the day of Papa's viewing. Um, it's going to be a great day. I'm just going to lay in bed for a little bit longer. But you know what? I wanted to tell you guys something. I did. Remember how I said yesterday that I um, wondered how I'd act once I got home? Well, I'm fucking perfectly fine. So what's interesting to me is everyone else's reactions to my reaction about my dad. And I would just like to start this naked bed confessional by saying that I do understand why everybody thinks I'd be a fucking wreck. I mean, I was my daddy's baby. My daddy was the love of my life. Like the only person who I loved, uh, who loved me unconditionally forever. But I still feel the same way. I am so happy that my dad passed away. And it was funny, an older woman said to me that she still misses her dad and that she's still crippled by his death. And I had a speech for her that I'm gonna share with you guys. When this woman told me about the story about her passing of her father, and she said that she still can't deal with it, that she, she still can't even talk about his death without bursting into tears, and she didn't know how I did it, I was like, one thing that I always remembered, or one thing that I always remind myself, is that your time with your parents is never promised. Your time with anyone is never promised. Um, maybe because my mom was sick my whole life, and my dad older like my dad had me when he was 45 so he's always been old an old ass nigga um but I've always just known your time with your parents is borrowed like everyone's parent is gonna die your mom's gonna die your dad's gonna die every parent is going to pass unless you pass first and so I think knowing that made me realize like no just be thankful for the time you have because he was gonna die eventually whether it was today five years from now three years ago your parents are gonna pass Especially lately, I've lived my whole life or experiences with my dad knowing that this might be the last, this might be the last, um, you probably won't remember, but last March, I threw a birthday party for my dad at my aunt's house because I said this is probably his last birthday. Last Christmas, I made sure I made my dad his very own lemon meringue pie because I felt like this could be his last Christmas. It's just, I was always thankful for any day I could spend with my dad, so I'm not sad. I am not sad. It's going to be a great day. Right, Max? That's all. And so, yeah, to anyone who is crippled by the death of anyone, try to change your perspective and just remember you were blessed to have them for however long you did. There are people who lost their parents when they were nine. My cousin, my baby cousin lost her mom when she was five. I got to have my mom for 30 years and my dad for 32. I can only be thankful for that. Just be thankful. Stay thankful. Stay grateful. Stay blessed. Right, Bugsy Boo? But enough of my naked speeches. Let me get my ass up. Since my truck is getting clean. Shout out to that nigga Elijah. Oh, my truck gonna be so nice. I had to come to my daddy's room to get a hat. These are some of his hats. So, what do y'all think about this one? And this is funny. This is the hat he wore. On our last dialysis date, but Papa, I'm wearing your hat. It matches my outfit. When you find last night's Hennessy in your truck and it's still cold, because it was cold last night. Whoa. Do y'all see my truck though? Do y'all see my truck though? Do y'all see my truck though? Shine Nothing like a shiny truck. Mm. Hi, little man. Do y'all see this service though? Do y'all see it? Thanks for coming in though. Thank you, Elijah. Truck finally smells right. Man, let me tell you why I fuck with Florida. Do y'all feel this sun on my skin? Oh, this weather is amazing. Snappers, snappers, oh my snappers. To those who are stalking my life. We are going to my mechanic. Um, when I went and got my free oil change for that, they were like, um, you need a tune-up. And so I said, okay, how much is your tune-up? And they were like, $280. Who got that? 
not me. So <laughs> I made sure I came back to Jacksonville. In Jacksonville, I got the hook up. So we're gonna take my car to my mechanic. Hopefully they'll be finished before the viewing. But yes, we're going to the mechanic, Lego. <sighs> um, the price is still the same. <laughs> It was like, yeah, it's still gonna be 280 plus tax. God damn it! Shout out to my hometown, though. Back on Bay Street. It feels so good to be home. Shout out to Daily. Yes, this is my first time seeing it. Dominique and Yasmina. Don't judge me. Home of the motherfucking Super Bowl with it. Jacksonville Jaguars! I don't know what you do when you're in town, but I'm up at Shane's. About to go to my old job. See if they remember it, bitch. I know, right? Y'all know this is my boo, Miss Cheryl. You guys, we're on a tour. This is my daddy's childhood home. We're on West 10th Street. He lived in a green and white house. That's my daddy's home. Oh, it's my grandpa's house. I mean, my grandma's house. Had to do a slight tour of the city, but we're back. Motherfucking home of the Super Bowl winning Jaguars. No, Look, they got everything open. They got everything open. So why are we at the stadium? They got the pro shop at the stadium. I need some Jaguars gear. Lego, Lego, Lego. As our tour of Jacksonville continues, we're at the Ratchet Regency Square Mall on you hoes. Ain't shit in here, but people. I am legit freaked out being in this mall. Look, ain't nothing in this mall. Yes, Mina said that was a Bath and Body Works. That's about it. Look at this deserted ass mall. This is the only mall I ever trick or treated in. My mama let us trick or treat one time. Raggedy ass Regency. Flashback. I just asked his old navy in here. No, nah, this ain't um that ain't old navy no more. Ciao. Go Jax. Where's the light? The world tour continues. We're at No-No's, my favorite place to eat. I need lunch. Let's I've been eating here since probably 2004, and they always remember me. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <sighs> We're running late. You ready, Lil? We gotta go. Let's go. We're running late. Snappers on my snappers. Leave it to me to leave for a 4 o'clock viewing at 4 o'clock. We're late. Let's go. I can say that. My dad was interested. You're wearing your tooth again. I'm going to snatch it out. And why isn't your... My auntie done called me three times, but we're here. Christy, are we here? We're here. We're here. much for coming to celebrate the magnificent and fantastic life of our father, Whoop. our hero, our mentor, Mr. Robert Andrew Taylor. Amen. We'd like to begin this evening with having a proclamation of my father's um, contributions to Jacksonville University, read by Mr. Dunn, who came from JU to do that and present it to the family on the behalf of the school. And after that, um, anyone so much, Regina, and uh, thank you to the Taylor family. I'm Mike Fleming. I'm one of the senior vice presidents at Jacksonville University. On behalf of President Tim Cost, it's my honor to uh, present this proclamation to the family. Uh, one of the great things, and I was telling Regina when I was reading the obituary, Mr. Taylor, uh, we, I'm a retired military officer, so we, we share the military together. Probably the biggest bond I saw we would have had is the donut shop in our <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know that I've ever seen obituary where you listed the donut shop. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best place to eat in Arlington. It it's is. less than a mile from the campus of Jacksonville University. Yep. And you can eat, eat a fritter between donut shop and Jacksonville University. That's right. That's right. I've that many times over. That is an historic event. It took great bravery. I was born and raised here in Jacksonville. I was young in 1963. But in the late 60s, we had a lot of racial challenges here in, in across the United States, particularly here in Jacksonville. And what Mr. Taylor did set the scene and set the conditions for great things to happen. So if you don't mind, I'd love to read this president, presidential proclamation. Whereas Robert Andrew Bob Taylor was born to Edward Taylor and Tabitha May Long in Jacksonville, Florida on March 28, 1941, and passed from this life on January 9, 2018 at the age of 76, in the course of its 84-year-old history. Now, therefore, I, Timothy P. Cost, president of Jacksonville University and proud JU alumnus of Jacksonville, Florida, do hereby proclaim the month of March 2018 as Robert Andrew Bob Taylor Month in celebration of Robert Andrew Taylor's life and legacy and his contributions to the Jacksonville University community and his heritage. And that's signed Timothy B. Cost, President, dated 18th of January, 2020. But he never did. If Vern wanted it, he was going to find a way to get it. She fell in love with him. Oh my gosh, I think she was a teenager. I mean, she couldn't have been much older than that. Look who's here. Dominique showed up. Hi, Dee Dee. Oh, and Brad. Snappers on oh my snappers. I just came from the best viewing visitation remembrance for my papa. We're all at the house. And here's where the shit begins because can none of us fit in this house. This is gonna be a mess. Oh shit. The real is back. Hey. The real is back. Hey, the real is back. 